How can you tell it's a warm day? Hey, Maui. Meow. 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 Talking? Saying hi? Meow. Meow. Oh, really? Yeah? It's been a hard day, huh? <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world. 99 problems, but a mortgage ain't one. It's a 71, 2 or 3 Dodge. That's very cool. Hey! That is absolutely beautiful, my friend. What is 71, 2 or 3? 73? It's like an Airstream Class C. Yeah. It's a company called Avion. Avion. Yeah. I've ne you know, I've lived in RVs for the last 16 years. I've never heard of this one. Yeah, they were kind of... Very cool. Yeah. I see you've done a lot, to a lot of work to it, too. Actually, I didn't do anything. You bought it like this? Yeah. Lucky man. Yeah, yeah. Good deal. Nice, buddy. That is awesome. Damn it, he's not gonna get parking. Meow. Oh. <laughs> parking lot life. Yeah, hey? <laughs> oh, Maui. <laughs> Right, there's a Canada goose over here with a pretty mangled up leg. I think it's broken or it got attacked by a dog and it's been limping around. So somebody actually called the animal emergencies, uh, the emergency hotline. So he's gonna get some help. But in the meantime, they're thirsty, very thirsty. Come here. I'm gonna put out some water and see if you can get to it. He's really limping. You okay, buddy? Okay. Huh. Yeah. Come get some water. He's doing a balancing act there. Yeah, he looked like he lost about half his foot. The web is gone. Yeah. Well, if he gets separate, oh. Just gonna corral some geese. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Apparently this is a van. It says right on the side, van. Or is it? <laughs> Anyways, I am just in Kitsilano and picking up some supplies, going back down to the beach. By the way, guys, a um, few people ask about my camera. I use usually this camera. It's just a Nikon Coolpix, um, nice little camera. It's got a good zoom on it. And that's what I use for most of my videos. Uh, once in a while, I use the GoPros, you know, but usually I don't. I don't like uh, the fact it has no zoom on the GoPro, and I really don't like the wide angle distorting everything. It doesn't seem like reality. So I try to use my regular camera, and I'm using Velcro because I have my fabric dash cover so the bottom of the camera has velcro kaplunk there you go now I got a driving camera too so restocked on uh, water and booze and you know all the good stuff and I'm heading down back down to the beach where I've been living for the last little while 
and uh, gonna go see how it is down there today. Now, uh, a little update on Dora, because yeah, a lot of people are asking about that. Um, like I said in that video, I said that the van is gonna be basically permanently up for sale. I may or may not sell it. Um, let's just put it this way. Everything's for sale for the right, right price, right? So since I put up that video, I've gotten, uh, tw now I'm at 24 emails. And out of those 24 emails, about 15 solid offers. Now, the, the one of them, uh, he was in the first four or five that emailed me, uh, is a local guy. He happens to live right here in Vancouver, actually about a 10, 15 minute drive from where I am right now. And uh, he's been wanting to get into this lifestyle for a long time. So he made me a very uh, decent offer, basically matching an old offer I had on this months ago, uh, when I almost did sell it at one point. And um, the pricing, guys, everybody's going nuts. Oh, I wonder how much it'll take before Justin sells it. Sorry. A lot of it has to do with um, uh, what people are willing to pay for it. And there's a lot of people that are willing to pay huge sums of money for it, but they're the ones, of course, that don't have any money and they have to try to find money. So um, it's really gonna be who's gonna walk up with the cash in hand. And uh, the, the ones who have the cash in hand are all, it seems to be mostly down in the States and one in Quebec, Montreal. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, so yeah, the magic number seems to be around 45K. Now, a lot of people are posting on that video. They're like, oh no, you should be a minimum 45K. Some people are like 50, 55K, 60K. One guy's even like, it gets 70K. Look, I'm not gonna be unrealistic. There's probably somebody somewhere that will pay 60 grand, but it's not, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to try to make some ridiculous profit on it. Um, I'm here to recover my costs. If I sell it, it will be to recover the costs that I put into it, including my purchase price, my importing and shipping price to get it to Vancouver, and the cost of all the mods I've done to it, all the improvements, all the upgrades, all the additional equipment, and a little bit extra to cover my time. Now the time will never be calculable. It, it, if we were to take all the time my, myself and my friend have put into installing and building everything in here, oh, I'm sure it would easily be 50 or 60 grand for the cost of the motorhome. But, you know, that's, I mean, if you were to go to a shop and pay their $110 an hour, that's what they charge at the RV shops here, $110 an hour for custom work. So, <laughs> I'm not here to do that. If I recover my cost plus, you know, a few extra bucks, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that. So it's really gonna be a question of who walks up with the cash first. Now the, the guy who is local here, he's uh, attempting to do so as we speak. He's attempting to, to secure the funds. And it might happen, it might happen tomorrow, might happen next week, might happen next month, who knows? I have another uh, offer uh, from a gentleman down in uh, Tennessee for even more money. But you see, this isn't about the more money. So if the guy in Vancouver offers me 45 grand and you offer me 50 grand, but you're in Florida and it will take a month to get to me or something like that, I'm just gonna sell it to the guy here in Vancouver. I'm not worried about the extra five grand. I'm really not. Uh, so we'll see what happens, guys. Like I said, I might not even sell it. I mean, I freaking love this thing. And I mean, just today I went through a drive through and I parked between two trees at one point where I know I wouldn't be able to fit with a Class C or anything bigger. And I just love this thing. And everywhere I go, people are asking me if I never sell it or how much it is and all. It's just amazing. It, it, it turns so many heads. I uh, will see how it goes. And um, I might just pop up in a video with a new rig one day. You just, you just never know, guys. You never know. But until then, keep on rocking in the free world. Pick up your Keep On Rockin' in the Free World sticker now or choose from some of the others over on my site at justincredible.net.